What is going on, crypto traders, investors, enthusiasts? Hello, how are you? What's going on? Uh, sorry, it's so late in the day and I'm posting a video now, but today was outrageously busy for me in comparison to all other days. It was crazy busy. Anyways, uh, so interesting things happened in the market. We saw Bitcoin take a nice little relief bounce, however... Uh, we're starting to see it's it's just a relief. That's really all it is. So in this video, we're gonna go over a little TA on Bitcoin. We're gonna go over TA on uh, FTM, and then I'm gonna say some random thoughts on Luna. Um, yeah, and outside of FTM and that, we might even take a look at Mana Decentraland because Mana has been going absolutely insane. Where could this party stop, or where will it go? Anyways. Hit the like, hit the bell, hit the subscribe. Working our way up to a thousand subscribers. Greatly appreciate it. Anyways, let's get into it. So, looking at Bitcoin on the daily, you can see Bitcoin was uh, took a nice deep retrace down to this level down here, twenty six thousand sixty six ish, maybe a little lower. But we ended up drawing a new pattern, which is this giant falling wedge pattern commonly a very uh strong pattern which is good but you know this does also indicate we could come down and bounce off this again just so we can make sure that we found a bottom at, before we end up seeing a rally anyways it does look like the re relief rally is continuing so that is positive will it continue all weekend not sure i think the volume on bitcoin might stay a little bit low but these altcoins should have a wonderful time this weekend but going into the four hour we actually look just fine you can see bullish divergence forming on the four hour you can also see the bearish divergence forming on the four hour we do have to take very very cautious trades right now while trading bitcoin considering we are still in a downtrend, still in a downtrend. You can see this formal line of resistance. We have regarded it as resistance one more time. So if we do see a relief, we're probably just going to bounce off of it again before heading down. So the downtrend is very, very real. Don't get it twisted. Anyways, we did have this supply line that we just traded out outside of. We just went trade sideways, so whatever. But we can get rid of that. We can see if you were looking to trade Bitcoin, pretty much when you're down you have to expect you're coming all the way down 26,500 next that's just the expectation if you break these levels of support now if you're more on the bullish side uh, we are sitting right above support right this moment so you could say hey I think it's gonna hold your target would actually be right up here somewhere around 30,600 so we could bounce around in here for the entire weekend and the altcoins could actually get a lot of running thanks to that so we'll see but you can see on the video right this moment while recording we are breaking support so next level we're looking at either we hold 28.7 or we come all the way down to 28.5 we're gonna see what Bitcoin decides to do we're gonna see what the traders decide to do anyways let's move on we're going over to FTM as a nice little uh, follow up to my video yesterday so we saw we identified the falling wedge pattern bottom of a channel we ended up finding support off of that we set a supply line hitting the supply line right this moment tons of room to be able to go up we're gonna see if uh, if phantom can catch some bids but 50% upside potential guess what we hit it so all of you who decided to get in on that trade congratulations hopefully you enjoyed the gains just remember, uh, you saw it here. You saw it here. Anyways, uh, it does look like we are getting ready to rally off of this. Somewhat looks like we are. But understand, if Bitcoin decides to fall a bit further, this support will fall, and we will see Phantom right back down here at $0.25. Cents. So if you are looking to take a long on this, your stop loss would be just below at $0.30.572. Cents. Uh, if it ends up stopping you out and then it goes above, hey, that's just how the game is. These whales out here just playing with you. Anyways, um, so that's what I see out of Phantom right now. It does look like it's getting ready for the next leg up, which you would expect to test this level at 43.2. Once again, if you manage to break it, then back test it as support. Your next target is going to be up here, 59.9. 
do I think it can get there this weekend? That all depends on Bitcoin. I'm going to be completely honest. All depends on Bitcoin. Also, if it does get up there, just be ready for a pullback straight down here come Monday. So just keep that in mind while making these trades. We're going to have to keep our heads on a swivel, be able to adapt to everything that we see. Now, um, let's go ahead and take a look at Luna. So Luna is doing something weird. Luna, uh, we got to we gotta zoom all the way in, all the way in. So Luna's doing something weird. You can see Luna has gone down to nothingness, absolute nothingness, but it is up 58% on the day, and that's partially because they ended up stopping the, uh, they stopped the, or the validator nodes decided to stop all trading. So it silently stopped all trading on all of the uh, exchanges, which that helped a lot, apparently. And then on top of that, you Do Kwon came out with another thing where he wants to basically do a last ditch effort, trying to cut off UST and then preserve the entirety of the chain. So then you can still have all your dApps, all your everything like that. Comment below. Let me know if you if you think that's enough and it would actually bring about a little more um, I don't know confidence in the project. Me personally, I don't know. I already DCA'd. We'll see what happens. <laughs> not gonna throw any extra money in here um i mean it's a shame that it it got exploited it got attacked it got just devalued completely but yeah if they don't figure out something oh doquan will never be able to make a project again and anybody have any type of confidence in it just, just none at all so we'll see how it all turns out um it's gonna take i think it's seven days before they can do anything it's gonna be gonna be a hot minute and it is a hot mess anyways now without further ado let's go ahead and check out mana mana is a big deal because it has it has risen like holy guacamole you can see we from the bottom we came up fought through resistance found next resistance back tested as support we shot straight through it now looks like we might be looking to back test as support if that happens that is where longs are taken so that that's what I'm seeing out of this chart you are not even in overbought territory on the four hour so you very well could see by tomorrow mana could be all the way up here at a dollar 61 again so mana mana's mana's on a hot streak right now you can see people are buying it as I'm speaking but 31% upside potential is there um you're in the middle of nowhere if you wanted to take this trade i guess you could try using one of these emas as a stop loss but good luck good luck that's that's all i gotta say uh your stop loss would be technically right down here at a dollar thirteen three nine five so I, I wish you the best of luck in your trade but uh yeah it mana i didn't even hear any news about it nothing like that i don't know what in the world is going on but you can see we uh when we shot up we put in this nice little consolidation pattern a nice little bull pennant and so the measured move you go from bottom to top mark that on top your price target is up here 44 percent to the upside sitting at a dollar 55 294 so that's the measured move based off what it did likely once you get here you're just gonna come you're gonna wake up to the top so that's most likely what's gonna happen um, so mana great opportunities have been arising all over the place and if you happen to break this level back test it as support well now you're looking at getting back into this falling wedge pattern which is ideal get back in here test the top of it back test the bottom of support and then take off and move on with your day so uh yeah mana looking pretty darn solid so my thoughts overall in the crypto market it's uh pretty bullish for the weekend but once once monday rolls around i it's gonna be a, a flip of a coin however wall street's feeling are they gonna feel like buying selling do they feel like everyone should cry i'm not sure so good luck everybody keep those stop losses tight and if you haven't done it already, please hit the like, hit the bell, hit the subscribe, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, as well as catch me live on Twitch, as well as live right here. Anyways, take it easy. See you tomorrow. Happy Friday the 13th. I'm out of here.